Javon Kinlaw missed tonight's game with a knee issue. It flared up midweek. He walked through on Saturday, which is a good sign, but couldn't participate in this game. Um, not the only defensive tackle who couldn't. I mean, Eric Armstead tried to play, played for a little bit. His plantar fasciitis acted up and couldn't make it through. Um, let's talk Kinlaw first. Kinlaw, it's a sad case because he wants to be good. He's doing everything right. He was here all offseason. It's just, it was a misevaluation by the 49ers. Uh, the knee was red flagged at the combine. It was there. This was not hidden to them. I mean, it was there. And they didn't take it seriously. And they, and they drafted Kinlaw, who was not a, a, a pass rusher in college. They drafted a defensive tackle, even though they have a million defensive linemen. And they can get him wherever. Um, ahead of Justin Jefferson. I mean, there were some players that not... A.J. Terrell. There were some really good players the Niners could have got there. Instead, they took a guy with an injury risk, and he's injured again. I mean, last year we played four games before his knee acted up again. Now three. And it's discouraging because he had ACL reconstruction last year and did everything right this year and still only three games got hurt. Who knows? Maybe he'll be back next week. We're all hoping he is. But I think the good news for the Niners is... How do you say it? They don't need him. If he comes back, great. If not, maybe okay. Okay. I mean, he's got like one and a half sacks in his career. He hasn't really become an impact player yet. And they got other guys who are just as good, if not better, right behind him. Kevin Givens? At this point, Kevin Givens is better than Javon Kinlaw. Kinlaw might be better than him next week, but right now, Givens is better than him. Uh, Hassan Ridgeway, Akeem Spence. The, guy, the, guy, the Niners have a plenty of defensive tackles. So, look, if Kinlaw comes back and is healthy, that's just another good player the Niners can add to a great defense. But if not, they'll be fine. They'll be okay. And I think maybe the lesson here is twofold. One, stop drafting players with medical red flags in their knees. I think they've figured that out. Also, there's no reason to spend a first-round pick on a defensive lineman unless you think he's going to be the next Nick Bosa. Uh, yes, they needed to replace DeForest Buckner, but they can do it with undrafted free agents. They're so deep. I mean, they don't have to spend first-round picks on run defenders. They don't. So we're all hoping Javon Kinlaw comes back. If he does, great. If he doesn't, they'll be okay.